I'm Jennifer Lee. And I'm Josh Benson. Thanks for being with us tonight. Well, a classroom controversy, the teacher called it the lifeboat test. The assignment asked students who they would save on a sinking ship and who they would let drown. One mom is outraged and calls the exercise racist. It's a story you will only see here on News Channel 8. News Channel 8's Melanie Michael is live in Tampa with more. Mel? Hey, Jen, good evening to you. You know what? This story is getting a lot of attention tonight, a lot of people talking about it. This is the original copy of the lifeboat test, and basically it asks students to pick who lives and who dies based on things like gender and race. We're talking about 11-year-olds taking this test. The school district tells us that this was meant to be a team-building exercise, but one mom isn't buying it. This mom is mad. It's racist in every form. And she wants answers. Has nothing to do with history. <laughs> nothing to do with it, and what is it? Teaching them. Valerie Kennel wonders why her 11-year-old daughter was forced to make a choice. Who lives and who dies on a lifeboat. Like, who do you pick? Why is one person better than the other? Why do some get left out? Check out the choices. There's 15 people, but only nine can live. Who would you get rid of? The white guy or the black guy? The Hispanic woman or the pregnant woman? The rabbi or the minister? Barack Obama or Donald Trump? She's 11. How is she supposed to pick people based off of what they're saying. Like to her, everybody matters. Everybody should have a chance. According to Valerie's daughter, students in her history class at Junta Middle School in Riverview felt uncomfortable. And I got kind of upset about it. And everybody else in the classroom was like, wow, this is racist, this is racist. The Hillsborough School District claims this was supposed to be a team building exercise and was not meant to be racist. In fact, a spokesperson tells us, this school has a culturally diverse population. The test brought up good debates on how to work together building relationships. They need to be careful with what their teachers are putting out there. And by the way, Jen, we want to tell you that that mother is planning a meeting with the principal and with the teacher, she says, possibly as soon as tomorrow. It's kind of a head scratcher here, Mel. We also heard that one student was put in timeout for refusing the assignment. She was. The young woman we spoke to in this story, the 11 year old, Leah Davis, told us that one of her classmates, another student in the classroom, was so upset by the assignment, took the piece of paper, ripped it up, was reprimanded by the teacher, sent next door in a timeout. I have a feeling this is far from over. We'll keep following it. I think you're right. Melanie Michael, live in downtown Tampa for us tonight. Mel, thanks.